welcome to the shade, wig and shade I hold Chris with the next. And I want to talk about Jennifer Lewis, the mother of black Hollywood book. Um, specifically the Hollywood Unlocked interview, um, that uh, memoir, that book. I haven't read it yet, but I am going to get it once I get paid. Friday, and I'm ready to slang. Oh, Aaliyah. Uh, shout out to the Aaliyah Mac, Aaliyah for Mac um, collaboration. About to come out June 20th or t June 30th. Be sure to, um, to check my video out on Instagram. Instagram, Chris to the Max. Uh, it'll be in the link down below. So, uh, back to Jennifer Lewis. Um, I really liked the interview. It, it gave a lot of positivity and insight. Didn't know she got uh, molested by the pastor. See, that's why you can't go to church because that's where most of the sinners is. You can pray. Uh, you can pray God at home. You can praise God at home. You know, that's what I do. Because, you know, I ain't got time. Because you even got people up in the streets that will judge you and try to scapegoat you because they be doing some shit and they try to, um, you know, put it off on you. So, um, you know, I, I just, you know, I'm very solo dolo in these streets. Because I don't want nobody fucking with me in these streets. Because ain't nobody got time for that. Yes. Jennifer Lewis. She was like, wait a minute now. It ain't that kind of time, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, I like her energy. You know, I grew up seeing her play about everybody's mama. And she had also had roles when she didn't play people's mama. Like on Living Single when she played the talk show with Delia. And then she was on the Parkers, I believe, too, um, as a talk show host. Don't quote me on that, but I believe she did pay, play a talk show host. So she's, so she's, she's, you know, been lucrative out in these streets. You know, I really like her energy. I really like how she is. You know, she uh, deserves a star on the Walk of Fame. But all them credits, you know, you can't really discredit her. Uh, you know, yeah, I was enjoying the interview. You know, she really just came with that energy, the, um, the positive light, and. And her book, The Mother of Black Hollywood, is only $15. Or $16, depending on who's selling. $15 to $16. And that book is like uh, the traces of her thoughts, you know. And, um, you know, it's always good. And she, like she said, she said, uh, there was a class, you know, this generation is always, you know, online. Which online is good, but she said she saw a class where... They had to teach guys how to talk to women. You know, that's big because back in the day, you, you didn't really... I mean, they had adequate classes, but that wasn't really a, a thing because, you know, we, we, you know, I grew up in the 90s, so the technology was being perfected. But even back then, you didn't really have that type of technology. So you had to like socialize, even if you didn't want to. If you wanted to play your bike down the street, somebody would talk to you. So you had that, but now everything is so much online, and a lot of people don't like going out, so, you know, that's some big stuff. You know, I know some people who probably want to, that want to jump into relationships, but, you know, they're so quiet, and they so, they just don't know how to approach women. So, you know, it, um, it, it's kind of, not that hard, kind of hard, you know, depending on who you talk to, you just got to get out there, so. Yeah, that, that interview gave a, a lot of insight. So, shout out to Jason Lee, Hollywood and Law, Melissa Ford, Gio. Um, Gio, hello. Uh, yes, like I said, you know, it opened my eyes to something. You know, trying to get my career popping off, you know. You just got to get out there. You know, she, said, she talked about being a star. And then her shady-ass pastor, um, years later, she... Uh, he said, um, I was just trying to teach you what Hollywood was going to do to you. Um, you didn't have to teach her that way. You just, you should have gave her your word. You know, he, you know, he was on some Jonestown shit. Like the, uh, Jerem Jones, or the Jonestown, drinking the Kool-Aid, looking up, you know, con artists. You have a lot of con artists. 
you know, and it takes away from the good preachers. So, you know, yeah, that's just my whole take on it. Uh, what you think? Anything you want me to talk about? Comments, questions? Down below? Because then this, till then, this has been your boy, Chris with their ex. On some wig and shade hour. If this ain't that t- kind of time, motherfucker. I don't want nobody fucking with me in the streets. And I'm out.